Well, there's all the wood for the meter housing all cut up. I went with a 18 inch height and uh, chopped it up so that uh, if it falls over, well, you'll see when I start putting it together, but when it falls over, I wanted to design it so that it would not break the glass of the meter. So there's roughly what it'll look like from the side and as I said what I wanted to do was design it so that if the meter falls forward I don't break any glass. I'd have to, have to go buy another meter because of a broken glass scene. So the meter will go in here. I gotta cut a hole in this board here and then I'll have my switch and two outlets in this right here. But that's basically how it'll look when it's done. So for this one I used a woodworker's circle scribe to uh, get my uh, hole which I went around like this. You'd have to look really close in order to see the... there you go. See where I scribed it? Okay. So I got, that was uh, six inches hole for the meter and then for this one I used a three gang box and I just centered it and cut it you know and used it as a template. Now I'll have to cut this one actually both of these I'll have to cut out with a jigsaw so we'll check in after the holes are made. So there's the General Electric kilowatt hour watt meter that I got in the mail. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had wired it right so what I did oh, and it's just been an hour note that's on the four I started it at three to test my wiring to make sure everything was right I used my construction lamps here two of them at 500 watts a piece should be around a thousand watts and I let it run for an hour and it started at three and now it's a f just the right at four so the variation there I'm thinking is just the variation you get with electri electrical devices uh, therefore running this 240 volt uh, kilowatt hour meter off of 120 volts it still will give you how much current it's using so I'd say this is a, success, a successful test. Now the problem I got is there's no way to mount this to a wooden frame. So what I did was there's here and here are flat spots on the Bakelite backing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these 3 8 inch bolts here and I'm going to mount them like that using JB Weld. Now to get the JB Weld to stick better I took some sandpaper and I scuffed the shine off of the bake light in both places where I'm gonna where I'm gonna do the attachment. Can you see the scuff marks there? Good. So I need to find the JB Weld. I got it here somewhere and uh, we'll get the mountain in. Well there's the face of it laid out. <coughs> I got the hole cut for the meter and I routed out a groove so that the lip won't cause me problems and there's the hole for the three gang box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes at each joint and uh, run screws through. If I don't drill the holes, the pilot holes, then uh, the wood will split. Well, there it is. I got three screws per joint. And now I'm ready to begin doing the sides and the back and the bottom. Well, there's the assembled meter box. I'm going to take the back back off of it so I can do the electrical work. And yes, I admit, if I was a carpenter, I'd be ashamed of myself. I found out that uh, the reason 
notice the grooves here the reason I got that router for twenty dollars is because it had a loose component on it and I didn't find that out until I uh, started using it but hey got a about a two hundred dollar router for twenty dollars because the guy didn't know how to adjust a screw I think that's not too bad so the next is take the back off and start mounting hardware well the first thing I want to mount is the meter and in order to have something to mount to I uh, use JB Weld to mount these 3 8 by 2 inch bolts and what I'll do then is use this as a brace to hold it onto the box so get on that I'll show it after I get it in this takes two, two hand excuse me this takes two hands okay I got it in there snug and what I'll do next is I'll I'll mount screws here and here so that this board doesn't move that way then this these bolts only have to be snug but first on this side I need to make sure that this is plumb this way okay there's a beaner all mounted onto the box I split the wood a little bit right here but I think I'll be alright so uh, part of the reason I wanted this to be sturdy so that this didn't have to do a uh, pinch type clamping action and then run the risk of the JB well coming undone but uh, there it is next is uh, the three gang box and the switches and getting everything wired next what I did was I went ahead and wired the meter so the hot side is here and this is coming off of an extension cord anyway hot side over here and common and ground over here now the reason I did that is because this is an old four uh, blade meter and a five blade meter would be wired or even a six blade meter would be wired differently than this also in order to account for any shorts that might come up on the uh, load side we have the hot coming off here and common and ground are going into the same blade on this side that way if there's a short it still registers on the meter so that's how the meter is wired and bring it around here and talk about the three gang box now I wanted to be able to turn everything off from the box so I've got a switch here just a little toggle switch or rocker switch and it's wired first hot and then hot comes out and then the brass side of the outlets when it goes in here and then it jumps over to the other one so that they're wired in parallel and then all the commons come off and go together and all the grounds go together so pretty straightforward not no tricks or skullduggery there now we'll get her buttoned up and see how she runs well there she is all buttoned up I got a switch and four outlets on the front there's the meter got a little tote here so I can pick her up I have to do a long shot in order to show how nicely it's actually balanced and then on the back I mounted a couple of coat hooks reverse from each other so I can uh, have a place to stow the cord so let's try her out All right. She's plugged in to the construction lights over here, a thousand watts worth. There they're on. And if you look real close, you can see it turning. So, that's one watt hour meter. I'm going to use it to see how much electricity I use on my projects. 